Welcome back everyone to my Manchester United career on FIFA 18. We start today at home to Southampton. Last time out against the Saints at St Mary's earlier this season, they made us work for those three points. It finished 1-0 in that game. Hopefully that's not going to be the case today as we are here at Old Trafford. We are in good form. We're now up to fourth after that dull spell. It was a dull spell, wasn't it? We picked up quite a lot of draws. The odd loss here and there, but we seem to be on the right track now. I mean, we're still the best defensive side in the Premier League. We've only conceded 13 goals. That's fantastic. With 20 games in, you can't argue with that. We've just got to start scoring more. For those of you wondering, I will be changing the formation very soon. We're right on top of January, and I do plan to change things around. But today, it's the same system with Ibra and Lukaku up top. I'm feeling ready for this game, feeling confident. Ibra, we need him on the score sheet today. Valencia making the run. We'll give it to him. Getting dominating this right side today. He's doing well. Can we swing this in? Maybe look for Lukaku. It is in for Lukaku. But it's cleared in the end by Romeo. Southampton performed well against us in the previous fixture. And they'll be hoping to do the same here again today. Romeo coming close there. Blind struggling here. Up against Yasin. He's allowed him plenty of space. He's going to swing in the cross. It's took a deflection. Oof! To hate you. quick to make the save. Inside wide to Daly Blind. Look at the space for Mikitarian. This is looking good. Mikitarian on the finesse of McCarthy with a last ditch save. It's going to be a corner to United. Full steam ahead here. All over Southampton at the moment. Good ball there from Mikitarian to Valencia. Nice little one two. Mikitarin again on the finesse. Gets blocked this time. Going for the penalty spot. You've got Small in Matic. Lukaku's going to join the attack. And it's Matic on the end of it. It's 1 0. It's 1 0 United. Matic jumping above the rest to get to the ball first. And he makes it 1 0 right before the break as well. Brilliant time to score. What a corner though. Pinpoint accuracy from Henrik Mikatarian. And what a powerful header from Nemanja Matic. Look at that. Just glances off his head and has McCarthy well and truly beaten. Ibra, nice simple pass there from Mikatarian. Lukaku's through on his left foot as well. Absolutely deadly. It's 2-0. Manchester United driven low and hard. And I think, did that go through the legs of Alex McCarthy? I think it did. We'll see on the replay, I'm sure. But what a finish. We're flying now. Always good to get Lukaku on that score sheet as well. 63 minutes on the clock. Let's see the replay then. So Lukaku, plenty of space, makes that run, uses his strength to get through, and it does go through the legs of McCarthy. The Saints starting to feel the pressure. They're making changes. Lucas has come on. Here's Popper now. Herrera, Jesse Lingard, can we swing this back in? And again, it's in for Herrera! 3-0, Manchester United. Herrera with the scissors kick. Seems to be a, a bit of a trend uh, as of late for United. We had Rashford score a similar goal in the previous episode in the dying embers of the game away to Leicester City. And now you have Herrera scoring this beauty against the Saints. Look at that. Oh, did he actually get taken out there, Herrera? Romeo running right through him. But yet Herrera still manages to score such a nice goal. That's easy for De Gea. Nicely done. Can we hit them on the break here? Now they've committed plenty of men forwards. They've only got two at the back. Martial, three for Lukaku. Uses that strength again. On for his seconds. Can he get it? Yes, he can. It's 4-0. Manchester United. The horses are being set free here today. We've well and truly trampled all over Southampton here today. Such a huge difference compared to that game against them earlier on this season back at St. Mary's where it finished just 1-0 where we struggle to, uh, to create anything in front of goal. And here we are, putting four past them. Can we make it five? Lingard through for Lukaku. They're so open at the back. Oh, Lukaku! Had McCarthy beat and it hits the post. McQueen. Oh, brilliant turn there from Redmond. And it's Shane Long! Long makes it 4-1. Just a consolation, if anything. 87 minutes on the clock. He does go ahead and celebrate, doesn't go and pick up the ball. But what a turn from Nathan Redmond to make that space for himself, to find Long on the end of it. Can we make it five here? Lukaku looking for that hat trick. And oh my word, Jesse Lingard on that half volley. What a save. Another comfortable, dominant win here for Manchester United. 
it's vital as well. We needed those three points and we have now done the double over Southampton who in the past have kind of been a bit of a bogey team for me on FIFA but not this year. We've uh, we've trampled all over them today with goals from Nemanja Matic, that man there, Lukaku, two goals to his name and of course Ander Herrera. Yep, fully deserved. I totally agree with that. The player of December has been announced. It is Henrik Mkhitaryan who's been in that number 10 role for the majority of games throughout the busy period of the season and uh, he has been rewarded for those amazing performances. Now what is this? Manchester United's Valencia might go for a hefty fee. He's not leaving. He's going to be retiring here at United. Valencia's excellent form this season has not gone unnoticed as Villarreal are reportedly interested in signing him. It's not going to happen. I know it's January now. We are into the transfer window. Lukaku is set to face his former club at Everton, who we've uh, we, we've already lost to earlier this season back at Old Trafford. When it finished 2-1, it was uh, the Ross Barkley show, wasn't it? Well, hopefully, when we uh, turn up at Goodison Park, it'll be the Romelu Lukaku show. I mean, he seems to be absolutely flying at the moment for Manchester United in such good form. Can we have a look at his stats because we are on the there we go so his stats in the Premier League he's made 21 starts scored 12 goals and assisted in three his average rating eight it's not bad that's fantastic really if anything now why isn't his stats for the Champions League on there we've only got the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup where's the Champions Cup or the Champions League whatever you want to call it where is it now with it being January and of course with the transfer window being open, I want to take this opportunity to bring back the one, the only, Timothy Fosu Mensa from his loan at Crystal Palace. He's in bad form at the moment, only had 10 starts in the Premier League, 11 in total through all competitions and he's not doing the best. So I want to bring him back. I don't want him to be rotting on the bench at Palace, there's no need for that. He's a lot better than that. So I want to bring him back to United and... I'm sure I'll find him game time here, whether that in the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup. Now, Cameron Borthwick-Jackson hasn't even been given any game time at Leeds. That's a bit strange. And the same goes for Pereira. How about Willock? Hasn't had any game time at all. What's that about? Why, why aren't they seeing game time? Here we go then. We're at Goodison Park to play Everton. Last time out, we dropped three points against them. It's time for a bit of revenge here today. Players to watch, of course, Romelu Lukaku, who returns to Goodison Park for the first time since signing for us in the summer. He will start top alongside Slatan Ibrahimovic, who kind of wants out United. Been a few murmurs of discontent. It's David De Gea that starts in goal for Manchester United. Bayi, Jones at the back, Matic just in front. Valencia, Herrera, Mkhitaryan, Pogba and Damian with Lukaku and Zlatan up top. Here is Ibra in plenty of space to operate in. Mkhitaryan through the middle for Romelu Lukaku. Can he score against his former side? No, he can't. He goes down and it is going to be a penalty. It's Ashley Williams who concedes. And it's a red card. The referee with a straight red for Ashley Williams on that challenge for Lukaku. I'm surprised Lukaku is standing after that. I mean, look at the way he went down. Doing the splits. That's going to hurt or it will hurt in the morning. Well, Balazzi goes off then to be replaced by Martina. Tactical uh, change there from Ronald Koeman. who can't be happy with this start here at Goodison Park. Lukaku then. Bottom left, I'm going. Bottom left. And, of course, it's saved. Jordan Pickford keeping the game all square. And some for Sigerson now. I'm surprised, you know, over the last two games against Everton. We'll go for the finesse here. Saved by Pickford. I'm surprised there's been no sign of Rooney. There's Darmian, off for Pogba, Herrera, hit that sun, oh it's hit the post, Matic breaks up the play perfectly, Lukaku through for Mkhitaryan, no way, had plenty of time, lined up the shot, how is that going wide, oh it's looking good, Martial for Mkhitaryan for Herrera, look at Valencia on the overlap, great space, great crossing for Marcia. No! He should be making it 1-0 there. Herrera and Valencia combining once again. Down this right side. Everton, they're down to 10 men and we still haven't scored. It's another good looking cross and Lukaku is on the end of it but it goes wide. Just ridiculous this is. The amount of times 
We've hit Everton on the break. Here's Lukaku's chance now. He's getting closed down already. Can we turn on this on the finesse? Pickford saves. He's been their man of the match of this game. It has to be. Well, off goes Herrera to be replaced by another former Everton man, Marouane Fellaini. Bringing in that height, bringing in that physical presence of him. And we're going to give this free kick to Juan Mata. Can he make it 1-0 here? 23 yards out. Juan Mata. <gasps> It was going in as well and once again Pickford with another quality save for Everton here today. Look at that, round the wall. Oh what a save, incredible stuff. Everton went down to 10 men in the 7th minute of this game. The 7th minute and it's finished 0-0. Fair play to them, I mean they've, they've worked hard for this point but it's, it's not because of their defence. We, uh, we didn't have a problem with that. It was the man in between the sticks, Jordan Pickford, who was in top form today, keeping his clean sheet, keeping it nil-nil. Here we go, the FA Cup is back. We are away to Brighton and Hove Albion. I'm looking forward to this one. Ones to watch today, Anthony Martial at the age of 22. The French international scored that winning goal in the FA Cup final against Everton just a couple of seasons ago when Louis van Gaal was in charge. Can he uh, prove to be important again today in this game? you got to love the FA Cup graphics on FIFA. It's so clean. For Manchester United, then Romero starts in goal. Timothy fosu Mensah starts for the first time this season for us since returning from his loan at Crystal Palace. Fellaini starts in central midfield alongside Paul Pogba. Shaw back in the side with Ashley Young. Rashford and Martial at top. So for Rashford. What a good performance from him today. Hasn't seen much game time this season. Pogba's effort saved there from Krull. It's out for a corner. Here is Fosu Mensa now. Seen a bit of action already in this game. Rashford out wide to Ashley Young. In a bit of space and it's Matter at the far post. It's 1 0. 16 minutes on the clock. Good start. This is just the performance that we need to be putting in. It's just the result that we need to be getting as well. In the third round of the FA Cup. Whoa! What is going on? That is some celebration there from Juan Mata. But what a cross from Ashley Young. What a finish. Brighton coming forwards then. Looking to get back in this game. Not sure how well they've done so far in the Premier League. Haven't looked out for them. They've almost made it 1-1 here. They've uh, hit the crossbar. Proper Pogba needs to be closing him down there. They've hit the crossbar again. Took it to... Oh my God. There was absolutely nothing I could do about that. They have found that equaliser through Stevens, who did originally hit the crossbar. Look at the force of that shot. And it's headed back in, and Stevens with that easy finish. Is it Isaradu? Is that how you pronounce his name? Coming forwards. Look at the space he's in. Crosses it in. We need to clear this. Oh, Ramiro, what are you doing? DeSanto. Oh, uh, it's offside. It's offside. Woohoo! That was close. That was close. That's a warning. Brighton looking dangerous in that final third. You can see DeSanto well and truly offside. And Rojo gives it to Short. On for Pogba through the middle for Martial. It's in for one matter. Unselfish. Gives it to Rashford. It's 2-1. 38 minutes gone. Pick up the ball. Let's get the game restarted. Let's go and get a third. I could have got Mata's second goal of the game, but Rashford was open. Had to had to give it to him. Lindelof. He's done well so... Oh, God. As soon as I say that, he goes and gives the ball away. And DeSanto oh, has got his goal, finally. He was ruled offside not long ago, but he's gone and made it 2-2 now. And what a game this is turning out to be. What a ball back to DeSanto, and what a finish. Pogba through for Fellaini. Rashford, oh brilliant turn. Rashford, Rashford through. Kroll saves again. Kroll has been incredible today. It's finished 2-2 here today, which means we go into an FA Cup third round replay and it will be played at Old Trafford. We could have made done without that. Um, I mean, January is already packed out with big games that we, we need to be focusing on and to have a replay it's it's not ideal but we've got to deal with it anyway guys that is it for this episode i hope you've enjoyed i'll see you all soon for the next one